Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Timmy Treacle, also known as Horror Fan for Life. And the next movie I'm going to be reviewing for you is called Shockma. Now this movie was released on October 5th, 1990. It is a sci-fi horror film that has a 5.1 out of 10 on IMDb and an 87% on Google. Now the movie had a $1.5 million budget. Don't have no box office numbers. Uh, but the movie was co-directed by Hugh Parks and Tom Logan, and it stars Christopher Atkins, Amanda Weiss, Ari Myers, Ronnie McDowell, and Typhoon as Shakma the Baboon. And this movie is about a group of students uh, who are playing this game uh, in their building with their um, teacher. And the baboon by the name of Shakma uh, is let loose, or breaks out, excuse me, and kills all the other um, monkeys uh, that are in there with him. And then he starts going after the students. And um, something that they have given him uh, has triggered his anger. And so he's just vicious. And so he's constantly going after these students. And one by one, he gets at him. Um, in this movie, we do have a um, sort of a final person, but I wasn't really too fond of this person being the final one. Um, but uh, I do love movies that have uh, animals involved in killings, uh, most notably, uh, you know, baboons, gorillas you know, apes, you know, whatever. Um, they're perfect uh, in, in these type of movies because they're basically similar to us. And, uh, yeah, it just makes for a fun uh, horror movie. Uh, I do like some of the characters in this movie, however. Now, uh, Christopher Atkins, who plays Sam, uh, you might know him from The Blue Lagoon from 1980. Um, Amanda Weiss, who plays uh, Tracy, uh, most notably played Tina in the original Nightmare on Elm Street. And she also played Lisa in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. So it's nice to see her face in here. Uh, Ari Myers, who plays Kim. Um, she played Brock in the movie Dutch with uh, Ed O'Neill. And, uh, of course, everyone knows Roddy McDowell. Uh, and then, of course, Typhoon. This is the first appearance we've seen with him. Uh, but I like the characters. Uh, the kills are just vicious. Uh, this is a bloody movie, of course. But uh, it's a fun movie. And I really enjoyed this one. This this has it all. It, it's not the greatest movie. Like I said, uh, I think the movie was too long. I think it could have been cut by at least 15 minutes. Uh, the third act kind of really drags out a lot. Uh, there were some dumb decisions made by some of the characters in this movie that, I mean, come on, common sense. I know it's a movie, but come on, let, let's, you know, write a little bit of uh, uh, better dialogue and what these characters are supposed to do. Uh, but other than that, I do uh, like the directing, the writing, and this, is ha this has a um, great idea. That I think they should just they should have squeezed it a little bit tighter and you know cut it down a little bit. Outside of that, though, I enjoyed this movie. Uh, I'm gonna give uh, Shakma a seven out of ten. So yeah, definitely check this movie out in the comment section below. If you've seen this movie, give me your thoughts and opinions. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and if you like this review, hit that like button. Also, let me know in the comment section below, what are some of your favorite horror movies featuring animals? Let me know. And I'm not talking werewolves. I'm talking, you know, domestic pets. You know, uh, for me, it would be Cujo. I love that movie. Um, just, wow, just a fantastic movie. Uh, so let me know. And uh, as always, um, thank you for liking and supporting my channel. And stay tuned for a couple more movie reviews, and check you later.